New at 11 tonight, climate change is playing a big role in the fight over a new housing project in the East Bay. A developer just got the green light to build thousands of homes on the San Francisco Bay near a contaminated site. I want to show you where it's located on a beautiful stretch of bay in South Richmond. But environmentalists say it's the bay waters that are the problem. As the seas rise, the contaminants could leach out of the tainted soil and create a hazard for anyone who lives there. NBC Bay Area Show Heard takes a look at the action. Some are trying to put a stop to it. We want humans to be protected before any development commences. Sherry Paget lives and works near the land owned by Zeneca Incorporated. Zeneca is the company that owns drug manufacturer AstraZeneca, which is making one of the vaccines to fight coronavirus. She says that land is filled with contaminated soil. The Department of Toxic Substances Control, along with Zeneca Incorporated, are working to deal with the problem. The state database for tracking toxic sites shows what's been going on over the years. The causes for contamination by Zeneca Incorporated and other companies who previously owned the site are listed. They range from hazardous waste storage to illegal dumping to manufacturing pesticides. It also lists the contaminants of concern. I'm a two cancer survivor and I'm motivated by that, by those experiences to help other humans that I'll never know and meet. Paget admits there is no evidence connecting her cancers to environmental hazards at this site. But she believes thousands of cubic yards of dangerous dirt needs to be removed before anyone builds on it. There are many other locations in Richmond uh, that are appropriate for people to live, not here. Shop Off Realty plans to spend a billion dollars or more to build up to 4,000 townhomes, shops, restaurants, a grocery store, and even a community park. Richmond City Council approved the project back in December. Environmental watchdog Baykeeper says none of that should happen. The Zeneca site is one of those toxic sites that is expected to be inundated by sea level rise. And we're already actually seeing at high tides, at king tides, that the site is inundated with water. Baykeeper captured this drone video that it says shows how San Francisco Bay waters are already washing over the site. As climate change pushes sea levels higher and higher, environmentalists worry the dangerous soil under the concrete cap could leach into the bay. There are over a hundred chemicals that are buried in that site. And the planning all for decades has been to do a full cleanup before anything else was done with the site. Attorney Robert Chasty is a part of a team of environmental lawyers. They represent Richmond Shoreline Alliance, Citizens for East Shore Parks, and various other groups. They are suing the city for approving a large housing development on a site without removing the toxins. They say the state's plan to pave over contaminated dirt is not safe. We reached out to the Department of Toxic Substances Control. The agency would not talk on camera, but told us in a statement it believes paving over the site is the proper way to make it safe, and that completely removing the contaminants would take about 10 years to implement, and more importantly, create far more harmful air pollution, dangerous traffic, and increased dust. And then there's climate change. Well, they're using way out of date information. If you look at the, the projections by the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, they could have 10 feet of sea rise by the end of this century. The, all bets are off on what kind of effects that might have. The lawsuit claims the cleanup plan is based on old state guidelines, which predicted the bay waters would rise 24 inches by 2050. But Chasty says new state standards have sea level rising almost double. 42 inches. We asked the Department of Toxic Substances Control what measurements it used, and they said 14 inches by 2050. However, the Department of Toxic Substances did say it plans to review the situation every five years after construction. It went on to say the purpose of the review is to determine if human health and the environment remains protected. We need housing in Richmond. We need housing in the entire Bay Area. Richmond's mayor, Tom Butt, says this is not Richmond's problem. 
the state's Department of Toxic Substances is in charge of it. He says he once had questions about what the cleanup should look like, but now he's comfortable with the state's plan. Well, at the end of the day, what this comes down to is, is do you believe uh, a group of NIMBYs who are opposing new housing in Richmond, or do you believe the state of California Department of, of Toxic Substances Control. We reached out to Zeneca Incorporated. The company told us in a statement, we are confident the planned cleanup of the property is protective of human health and the environment, and it is compatible with the proposed future site redevelopment plans. The statement went on to say the plan will help the company realize its long-standing goal of completing remediation of the campus Bay site and returning the property to productive, beneficial use. Shop Off Realty told us it's disappointed with the legal delay. Quote, we are fully aware of all the underlying issues, including the potential for sea level rise, and have provided for those issues in our development plan. Paget says no matter who makes it happen, cleanup is crucial to save the environment and to keep people safe. I'm not so opposed to development of the property itself. Just clean it up first. In Richmond, Cheryl Hurd, NBC Bay Area News.